to Jesus. You want to sing? I raise a hallelujah in the presence of my enemies. I raise a hallelujah. See? God loves you. What? I identify as that's a good voice. If you say it's not, you're offending me, you're upsetting me, you're harassing me, and I feel offended. Don't tell me I'm not a good singer because I can identify as whatever I imagine in my brain. See? This is the truth, ladies. You see, your own logic gets chucked down. Constructive criticism. Hello, are you joining the uh, discussion? Run, run, run as fast as you can. Don't run from God. Come towards the Lord. Come in, come in. Come and speak to us. Anyone, anyone wants John to pray for you? Chef will pray for you. Anyone will pray for you. So what we've done, ladies, we've had a good eve. We've had a good afternoon. Who's had a good afternoon? It's been decent. We've, we've reasoned together, we've managed to sort of construct some sort of logic together and we've all had a lovely discussion. Mr. President, it's nice to see you today. Are you joining the debate, sir? Hey, how are you, officer? It's a nice bike, isn't it? Hey, Bezant, your coat's done wrong. He's a lovely man. I actually really like PC Bezant. Everyone, I want you to know that PC Bezant is a lovely police officer, and if you see him in trouble, you go and help him. He's a great pillar to the community of Swindon. We may not always agree, but he's lovely. So if we see PC Bezant, we're going to look after him. Thank you. Because we've got, we got to respect the police force, guys. We've got, to, we've got to come around the police force and help them. We need to work as a team. Swindon needs to come back to a, a standard of truth. <laughs> Does anyone want to debate me? Does anyone want to debate me for the purpose of other people hearing? Yeah, Let's have a debate. Come on. Friendly. No, no, no swearing. No mocking. I know with you too. All right, we give you a bit of grace. No mocking too much with you. I'll give you grace. Just a bit of oh. You know me. You've known me for over a year, Sean. Just know. Oh, could you? <laughs> We've had a great time. I mean, you've called the cops maybe 150 times. You know. Probably more. You're, yeah, okay, so what's your debate? Um, I don't know. You choose a topic. I'll debate it with you. Um, <laughs> choose something that I can link back to. What stops, her from, what stops you from going to Christ? Oh, okay. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. I like that. Okay. Okay, so this is a topic. What stops you coming to Christ? I was forced into religion when I was little, so it kind of put me off. I've been looking to Christianity and other religions quite a lot, but at the end of the day, I chose a religion that fits my idea more than Christianity does. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with Christians, and like, I've got nothing against Christianity at all. It's a lovely religion. Like, I don't agree with some concepts in it, obviously. They're not the original concepts. Yeah. Obviously, you in the debate too? some things can get lost in translation. Some things can just like not agree with my ideas, which is reasonable. It's all opinion based. But being forced into religion as a child does does kind of put you off later on in life. But, yeah. but it doesn't stop you looking into other religions and choosing one that fits your perspective better. Like, like a phone, you know, sort of whatever phone you want. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so can I answer this question? Yeah. Right, we got number one, number one was brought up religious. Yeah. To be honest, I probably wouldn't have come to faith if I was brought up religious. Um, so I understand someone trying to force something on you. I asked you about your relationship with God, not what a human being did. That's number, what was number two? Number two. Um, just because like I'm not Christian doesn't like I'm hating it. It didn't stop me looking into other religions okay. like um, Christianity, Islam, things like that, and like looking into the different ideas and everything, and then choosing one that fits my perspective better. 
Yeah. First of all, I'd like to say you're very brave for standing up here and debating what you believe to be true. I think that's very honourable. I think that's very good. So well done, you've got a great voice. You're, you're a good public speaker, so I give you respect in that area. But it doesn't matter what, you know, you're saying like, what I want, what I fit, that this religion suits me. It's not true, isn't like that. It's not like, well, I disagree with it, so I'm going to change it. Truth is truth. And it's up to us to submit our will over to truth. Yeah. What have I done, sir? What did I do? Sean, don't worry, don't worry. Continue on the... Inter I said, all of us believe in different things. Yeah. Okay, that's good. So these people are not forced here. Are you forced? Is anyone forced here? So this lady said we've all got our own beliefs. Yes, we have. We've all got our own beliefs. And I'm sharing what I believe to be true. Yes? Is that real? I am real, yes. Is that real? Um, what? No. No. Wicked. It's okay to be In my house, Santa is still very much real. Is it? Yeah. What's the game? She's got her electric drum kit. But to be fair, my birthday and Christmas are two days apart, so... Christmas has nothing to do with Jesus, by the way. Yeah, yeah, Christmas... Christmas is... is, pagan. is it's pagan. It's more, it's more your belief than yeah. my belief. Yeah, so, my side. Yeah, so that's good. <laughs> Christmas is my side. But, um... Like I was saying, one person's truth isn't necessarily another person's truth. Yeah. One person may find yeah, truth in one religion while another person finds truth in another religion. It doesn't mean that either side is wrong. It just means different people have different yeah. sides to the truth. So, but in pagans, we look at Christianity quite a lot. And it does link to Christianity quite a lot. But it's just the other side of Christianity. Not the side of 